What's going on, it's your boy AB, and we back with another video. Come on, man, y'all know it's been so long since I've done one of these. It's an Instacart video. Um, I got to get back to it. I got to get back to uh, making my Instacart videos for y'all, man. I know y'all been missing me. Right now, it is 7.33. 7.33 in the morning. Early bird gets that worm, and y'all already know we gonna run it up. Um, my rating is a little low, so that's another reason why you guys get up early so you can get some good batches when your rating is low, so you can try to build that rating back up. This is a three order batch. Three order batches also a good way of getting your ratings back up um, quicker. So um, they are sending me a message saying that I need to start my batch right now. It is uh, 7.34, like I said. Um, we are on our first batch of the day, y'all. So here we go, We I'm at my Kroger. Um, this Kroger is around the corner from my house. It's the closest Kroger to me. So I always go to this Kroger first. The orders aren't too far away, maybe about seven miles away. And it's like a 30 order batch, $30 order batch, $30 batch. So let's go ahead and get it started. Let's see how long it's gonna take me to get out of here and get her done. Let's go. All right, you guys, it is now 8:12. We just got done uh, putting the groceries there in the back. Um, I separated them out into my Ikea tote bags. Um, Coming uh, big handy, big, 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 big handy. Definitely need those Ikea tote bags. I wouldn't be able to do this job without it. So I, I, think, I think it took about maybe 40 minutes to get out of there, um, including checkout and everything. Um, the store was not busy at all because of how um, early it is. So that was a good thing. I was able to get in and get everything that I, uh, Okay, I was able to get in and get everything that I needed and get out of there. So we are on our way to our first drop off. They are only 10 minutes away. Um, we're off to a good start. I love how the orders were not big orders. Um, each order only had like maybe four to three bags and that's always good. So I mean, smooth in and out um, batch. Um, I will see you guys after the drop all of these orders off and I'll let you guys know the total. All right, you guys, so I just got done dropping off that last <clears throat> that last order in that batch. Um, we did indeed get $31.31 for that order or that batch, so we're off to a good start. It is now 8.37. Right now, there are no more batches on my screen. Um, for some reason, right after I finish a batch, I can't see another batch for at least two minutes. Like it's it's it, it's weird. I don't know. I have to keep refreshing to keep scrolling down to try to get it to pop up. But in any case, right now I feel like I want to go try to get some breakfast. But I'm always going to be scrolling and looking um, for the next order. So stay tuned. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Um, I will see you guys in a second. All right, y'all. We just pulled up at Aldi, man. We got an Aldi order. It is a two-order batch, I believe. Um, it's for forty-seven dollars, I believe. Maybe forty-nine. Hopefully, it's forty-nine, but I think it's forty-seven. They're giving me my final reminder to start the batch right now. That's how y'all know it's been forty-five minutes. Um, since I got the batch, I'm about to go ahead and start it. I hope y'all like my new camera lens because it's it's pretty lit. I like it. <laughs> I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. I did have an order earlier today for like $67. It ended up being like $64. It was insane. 10 cases of water for a $3 tip. I mean, what are you going to do, right? 35 miles. Oh my gosh. What are you going to do? Instacart should not be paying half of the freaking bill. That don't even make sense. Instacart should only pay. The customer should be paying more. <laughs> That's come on, Scar. That don't even make sense. But let's go ahead and get in here and start this batch. Let me see what this look at that real quick. The mileage on this batch wasn't too far. I feel like it was less than nine miles. Uh, 35 items, nine items, two order batch. Let's go ahead and start it so we don't miss out on it. And yeah, it's your boy AB. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I will see y'all in a second, or maybe after I drop off all the order. Uh, maybe after I drop off all the food, but I might come back to you guys to show y'all what the batch is looking like in my in my car in the trunk. So yeah, see y'all in a second. Oh my gosh, y'all! Y'all are not gonna believe this. I mean, y'all y'all probably will, but why? Why did I freaking forget my wallet at home? 
Every time, it's always something, man. Forgot my wallet because I'm waiting for my TV to get delivered. I'm waiting on the TV to get delivered, and of course the TV comes at six in the morning this morning, and I missed it because they didn't know where my apartment was. Not because I was asleep, no. It's because they didn't know where my apartment was, so I missed the freaking delivery, which doesn't make sense. Um, so, I, so I'm call, I go home, I call them. You know, they, they said that they were here earlier today, but they had a hard time finding my address. So they got rescheduled, is what, this is what the guy told me. I'm like, wow, okay, so nobody thought to call me to tell me that they were, you know, in my neighborhood trying to find my address, nothing. But they called me at six in the morning saying, oh, you're our first delivery today and we're on our way in 25 minutes. I don't, I don't get why you didn't call me. You said when you were in my neighborhood and you're having a hard time finding my address. That don't make sense. Forgetting that I wore a jacket this morning with my wallet in it. Now I gotta go home so I can pay for the groceries that I just shopped for at Aldi. I'm so freaking annoyed right now because literally walked up to the counter at 22 minutes. Now I am going to be behind 30 minutes because it's like 15 minutes to my house, 15 minutes back to Aldi. I'm trying to stay calm and, I'm, and I feel like I've had a good shop at Aldi. It was really easy. I was moving, found everything nice and easy. Um, but now I'm on my way back home to pick up my wallet. So, yep. I will see you guys in a second. Just wanted to give you a quick update on the shenanigans. So real quick, I just wanted to show y'all what my trunk looks like. can carry all the bags, multiple bags at once. Um, I can put up to three bags into one Ikea bag. So that's one order right there. This is another order. All right, so we about to go ahead and drop off this food. Let's go. All right, you guys. So I'm not sure if I told y'all about the last order. It was that $40 order for something, something. Um, where did I go? Audi? Yeah, I forgot my wallet. I think I did tell you guys. So I did go home um, after that order. Um, it took a little minute for me to get another one. Um, I did actually see another order um, that I could have got, but I missed it. But I ended up getting this one for $38. Um, it is a Kroger order. It's a double batch. Um, we're about to go in here and knock out this uh, double order real quick. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, you guys, we just got down with that um, order shopping. So now we are about to go ahead and drop it off. First drop off is only 10 minutes away, which is great because like I said, um, I usually go to, ooh, it's Brat right here, y'all. I usually go to the closest Kroger that's to me and the closest Kroger was my Kroger. So I went over to my Kroger and shopped and the uh, first drop off is 10 minutes away. So that's great. Um, it's always a good thing when you can go to a different Kroger and shop for your items, um, shop for your, uh, you know, batch um, and still be within 10 minutes or 10 minutes away from the drop off. That's good. The first drop off, that's really good. Um, try to get, look for orders that don't have that much mileage, don't have many mileage, like low miles, high pr uh, price tags. That's what you want. Um, especially right now, it's really hard to find that, but you gotta be very selective and also keep up your work ethic because I feel like the reason why I'm seeing these type of orders right now at a 4.5 is because um, before I got a 4.5, you know, my work ethic was good. Like I'm showing Instacart that I'm a good worker. I'm dedicated and stuff like that. So I probably should have turned right there too, honestly. Um, I probably will still. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to our first drop off. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll hit you, um, hit you guys later. All right, y'all. So we just got done with that batch. I just dropped off the last order. Um, I don't know. Drop a comment down below if you guys, after you drop off your batch and you're looking for a new batch, it takes at least like 30 seconds to a minute for more batches to load back up onto your screen. Like you don't always get batches immediately ready to go. 
when you get done with a batch, you, you gotta wait maybe 30 to a minute. Drop a comment down below if that happens to you. But we just dropped off that last batch. It was for $38. Um, it was a two order batch, um, which is pretty good. Um, today we did three batches. Well, we did three batches so far. Um, I am currently looking for more batches. Um, I'm at 140 for the day so far. 140, three batches. Like, that's what you want to see. That's how Instacart should work. You shouldn't have to work so hard. You shouldn't have to do so many batches to make over $100. Um, my first batch was $69, ended up being $65. My last two batches were each $38. Um, and they were decent. Like, they were not super crazy as far as items or anything like that. Um, the last batch I just had was like 32 items I feel like, maybe 40 something units um, for $38. Like the customers tip like $30, Instacart tips $7. So that's what you want to see. You want to see the customers tipping more than Instacart because the customers should be the one tipping you, not Instacart. But Instacart need to get up on their shit too. Like they definitely need to raise the base pay and they definitely need to crack down on these uh, customers who don't want to give us no tip or don't you know tip enough you know like you should you should definitely want more for your shoppers when the order or the batch is 40 to plus 60 plus units items and stuff like that and they're they're only getting 12 15 dollars that doesn't make sense so but yeah man we are looking for our next batch here um, I'm probably gonna go home and chill for a second until I get my next batch. That's usually what I do, especially if I'm close to home. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna relax for a second and I'm gonna look for more batches. Um, there's no reason for me to keep running around town, waiting, wasting gas, waiting at grocery stores to get the same batches that I could possibly get at home. So, well, only if you're close to home. So I'm close, so I'm about to go home and just chill for a second. Hopefully, look, get another batch. Looking for, while I'm looking for batches, I'm chilling while I'm looking. Chilling while I'm looking. Um, but yeah, um, make make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment down below what you guys think about my new camera lens. How does it look? I mean, how does it look? You guys tell me. I, I mean, I'm digging it. I'm digging the new camera lens. I think it's really dope. Um, yeah. See you guys in a second. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe.